Hello everybody, this is c 3 and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Last time we went and we took on basically Rolling Gizmo Galaxy and also took care of the Sling Pod Galaxy, which is the second Hungry Luma Galaxy as well. And we got started on Battle Rock Galaxy and we got the first regular star and the first secret star of this galaxy. So we're going to go back in and take on the original second star of this mission, of this galaxy, I mean. So yeah, I mispronunciate, but anyway, it's cool. I also just noticed how like the Comet Observatory is like slightly lighting up where it's like half lit up at this point. That's cool. So we're going to go back and taking on Breaking Into the Battle Rock originally now. Since we already saw the cutscene, we can just skip it, so that's pretty cool. Go straight on into it. It's for speedrunning. The goddess of speedrunning. Even this game understands speedrunning because, you know, the one comet, the speedy comet, has speedrun in the title for the mission. That's pretty cool. Self-awareness. Right. There we go. Now. And originally, instead of feeding the hungry Luma, we gotta go and save this one Luma right here. Help! All right, so we're gonna help this one by going and getting ourselves this little bomb bomb right here. I'm not gonna throw it here, actually. We'll go over here. Watch out! Don't get hurt in the process. All right, we saved them. Whew! That was scary. As my way of thanking you for your for the help, I'll make a shortcut for you. Transform! Okay. We got a little sling star right here, and that's his whole life purpose, oh my god. I'm gonna sling into this one right here as well, this launch star. Now we got all these bombs located right here, the bombs. I forgot to point out, you can also make these explode by just pointing a star bit at them. Like that, it's pretty cool. So yeah, you can do that in just in case if you feel like you're gonna get hurt. So be careful around here, because you will get damaged. You will lose a health, a piece of health if you get hurt, like that! Oh god. Okay, uh, watch out for here. Let's launch into this star. Launch star. You can get a little bit of extra star bits right here around this edge of this uh, entryway. Cool. Alright, and there's like a little extra secret right here I want to show off. It's kind of hard to get to, but uh, come on. Okay, I can't get to that yet. I, gotta, I think I gotta do a triple jump. It's only for star bits, but every time I do it, I always remember that, like, I think it's required, but instead it's just star bits like this. So yeah, there's a few extra star bits you can get if you, like, you know, do a triple jump onto this button and ground pound on it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, quickly collect all these, all these, these bad boys. Get a few extra star bits in this question mark block here. Alright, nice. Get another couple from right here as well. Oh, and those are just coins. Okay, so I'll get all the coins here. I don't really collect that many coins since they're virtually worthless in this game. In Mario Galaxy 2, um, in Super Mario Galaxy 2, uh, coins are a lot more uh, meaningful, and they actually have a purpose a lot more than this game. Coins basically only purpose for this game is just for getting a high score of how many you can collect, and also for uh, re replenishing your health. That's it, pretty much. Spin attack to get this bomb to hold on to it, and we're going to throw it at this little launch, this little uh, glass dome right here to get ourselves into this launch pad. All right. So now we're going to go inside here, when we press A, it's going to be able to launch us. We're going to time it just right to save this little poor Luma guy. Nice. Okay, cool. So we're quickly going to shake very quickly so that we can get into this launch star. Come on. Got it. Thank you. And the ship explodes. That's really nice. Uh, like, I didn't know that was going to happen anyway, because let's do this game like 20 times. I do think I've played this game about 20 times in my life, so uh, I think that's uh, really cool. Shows how much of a no life I am. But this game is just really fun. Like, very few games do I play, like, multiple times around. And we got this really colorful and, like, checkerboard like rockets, but we're at the very end of the level anyway. So now we got that saved. So we can go and. Oh, it also broke this little glass time, so we get a one up. Awesome. Alright, so now we gotta watch out for these, because you will die if you mess this up, and you're gonna go and. Launch the star. Nice. I almost messed it up, but that's alright. Nice. First star of this episode. Coolio. Star number 23! Yes! Okay. Save her name, not yet. Alright, so we're gonna go back in here. And now we're gonna go and take on the third star of third original star of Battle Rock Galaxy. It's gonna be our fourth star, but it's the third original star. So we're gonna go and take care of this now. Alright, so, Battle Rock Galaxy, Top Maniac, and the Top Men Tribe. Alright, this is gonna be a little weird of a name, but still, it's pretty cool and interesting. So, these little enemy bad guys right here are known as the Top Men, and they're kind of annoying, but they are uh, they have some worth. So yeah, some worth to their uh, miserable, pointless lives. It's kind of dark, I'm sorry, but anyway. Uh. 
Oh, excuse me. But anyway, we got little yellow guys right here, really cute and all. Look how cute these little babies are. So if you run into them, they will spin you around. So you have to spin back at them, fight them with their own power. So yeah, pretty much. And you get a little star bit. These yellow ones. There's like small yellow ones. There's uh, regular size green ones, and then there's this red ones. They're the same size as the green ones, but they have spikes on top of their heads, so you can't jump and bounce on them. So we're gonna go and get onto this pole star right here. Okay. Watch out for here. Okay, we're gonna launch onto the sling star. Now we got this uh, little uh, object moving, so we can now go towards the pole star here. Watch out for these bombs. Bombs? But anyway. Okay. Now what we're gonna do next is we're going to go and hit this little top man guy right here and hit him at the force field to unlock this uh, Hungry Luma and to save him. Thank you, oh sweet freedom. I'll show you a shortcut as a re your reward. And transform! All right. I said transform like 20 times so far in this level. We're only on episode nine, it's crazy. Okay. Now we got these three little crates right here and one of them's gonna lead us where to go to next. Not this one, these just have star bits. I, mean, just, I know which one it is, it's the one in the corner, but I'm just showing all of them because I want to. Alright, this has a little warp pipe for us to go down. Uh, oh, excuse me again. Um, you're gonna hit these switches. Um, where you where you flip the arrow to is where the gravity is gonna go towards, so be aware of that. So we're gonna wanna backflip up here. We can skip a bunch of this section of this level. If I can. Okay, yes, thank you. There we go. Nice. Oh god, I almost got crushed to death. <laughs> that would have been bad. Alright, so watch out for here. These red ones will kill you, so be careful of that. Okay. Nice. Okay, watch out for these red guys with their rings, because these are lasers that will harm you. Just so be aware of that. Get these little few extra star bits if you want them. Jump on his head, pull onto the sling star, and you will be taken downwards into this little area that is kind of questionable. But anyway. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these top man, hit them with their own power again at these uh, lasers. Okay, electric currents. And now we're going to go down here and we're going to want to now get into this pulse, this, sling, this launch star. And if we didn't sling ourselves in this launch star, we would have died and fallen to our deaths. So that would have been bad. And now here is the ending of this level for the star. And um, basically all we got to do is take care of this boss that's coming up. Pretty much. And my phone just went off, but I'll go check that in a bit later. Here's the boss. Oh my gosh. So what we're going to do, basically, touch on his head so the spikes go away and hit him at the force field. That's pretty much it. We will be doing, uh, later on in the future, a, um, a comet mission where we have to go and um, do this whole, like, boss without getting hurt once, which this is a fairly easy boss, so uh, it's pretty easy, so I can understand giving a little more difficulty without getting hurt once, and I almost touched the force field, which would have destroyed my purpose. But anyway... All right, we get this, and we get the star. We got that one last little star bit, that red one at the very last second. That's pretty cool. Rise, we enter the cutscene. Nice. All right, twenty-four, one fifth of the way through the game. Cool. All right, what else is there to go to next? Oh, uh, we got a Daredevil Comet in orbit. Yes, this is what I was talking about. We are going to in the future. I didn't know it was going to be the next star, but anyway, we got to take care of the Daredevil mission. All right. Daredevil Comet in orbit. All right, Battle Rock Galaxy Top Maniac to Daredevil run. Okay. As I was saying, basically, for this star, all we got to do is just take on the same boss again, but we have to do it without getting damaged once. All right, so that might be a little... A little bit more of a challenge, but there's going to be later stars where it's going to be like this boss mission, common mission is nothing. So yeah, we are going to be taking on, later on in the game, a boss that is way harder already on its own with only three health that we'll have to take on with only one health. So that will be probably really frustrating for me, but still. Alright, so let's not get hurt once. Okay, let's not die on this. That'd be nice. Come on. Alright, one hit. Come on. Two. Ah. 
Don't touch the head. Stop. Okay, come on. Got it. Three. Nice. And he's dead. Thank God. Let's just not touch the outer force field. That'd be nice. Two. Okay. Okay, we missed all these star bits. Oh, man. But oh, well. There we go. Third star of this episode. Awesome. Okay. I think that's the 25th star in the game now we've gotten. Yes. Okay. Yep, star number 25. Awesome. We're not going to save just yet. Alright, so now we're going to go back inside here. And what we will have to do next is the fourth little secret galaxy right here. And that is... Hurry Scurry Galaxy. Okay, so let's go right on into it now. This is a pretty simple one that's only a one-star galaxy that's pretty funny. And it's very simple and easy. And hopefully I do not screw it up like crazy. So, Hurry Scurry Galaxy Shrinking Satellite. Okay. All right. Very simple, basic, all that jazz. Jazz hands. I'm just gonna initiate the jazz hands where I flail my arms and I'm like, mm. All right, so collect all these star bits you wanna collect as well. I'll show their usual path that we have to take. So as you, uh, you know, walk across this path, like you can just literally long jump, which I always tend to do so I can save time, but instead um, I'm just showing everything, just to take my time. What do you guys have to say? I tried walking along the path, but it started disappearing with every step I took. Aw, he's scared. Aw, look at this little toad. He's so scared. It's so sad. Aw. Look at him. He's looks scared. I'm sorry. It's dangerous, I tell ya. I tell ya! This other one's just chilling and relaxing. He's like, oh, it's all good. I almost died, but still. You can get a little couple coins. Got all of them, thankfully. And this is the last part of this level, which is pretty simple. There's just two galaxies up in space somewhere. All right, so basically, all you have to do is collect all the notes. You don't have to make every path, just every plate disappear. Just get all the notes. And once you get all the notes, this uh, black hole will disappear, and you will be able to get your star. Just make sure you do not mess it up. There we go. And boom, shakalaka. I don't know if you can, like, fall through, miss the star, and then fall off into space and die, so, but I'm not going to find that anytime soon. Got it. I almost died there. I almost missed it. Which I could have died, but anyway. Here we go. Nice. Alright, 26 stars. That's good four stars for this episode. That's pretty awesome. 499, 1 to 500. Okay. Alright, so... That's pretty much going to wrap up this episode. So, we got pretty much today done with uh, all we could get done with right now for uh, Battle Rock Galaxy. We got the two other main stars and the uh, Comet Star, and we did 100% for Hurry Scary Galaxy. Got the one star in there. So, next time on Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy, we're going to go and take on the boss for the fountain and hopefully see Bowser for the first time. Sorry if I spoiled it. So, thank you all so much for watching. I've been C the Court, and I'll see you guys next time. So, goodbye, everyone.